we really have to be careful because this can ha- make somebody to have high blood pressure because you don't know that something is happening to you spiritually. You don't know that there are spirits behind this, that your spirit guides can deal with you. Some people die because of that spiritual stealing. They don't know what to do. They become confused, overthinking things, and they die out of overthinking. Some might be involved in an accident. I normally counsel people that I have done spiritual consultation for, and I have seen that they are called to serve. I do tell them, please, don't waste time. Start off the little way you can. You mustn't wait to gather millions or thousands before you can align yourself spiritually to all your spiritual guides and start off your work. I say Dibia. Why I normally use uh, Dibia as an example is because of, it is what I represent. There are also some types of call that people have. Some is through ministration, uh, through music, some through technology, to create things, to invent things. Some is through uh, business. Their business acumen is top notch. So a whole lot variety of ways that people can have their uh, calling. But mine is a spiritual one because I come from a spiritual ancestral lineage. <clears throat> so once I give them this advice that they should start off their work, if you delay, the consequences can be disastrous. So we now end up answering their call when they have had accidents. Some when they have uh, fallen into one sickness or the other. Some when they have already become mad. You know, an unappeased agu, it's, uh, it's like uh, someone having bipolar disorder or schizophrenia. Some become depressed, frustrated. You see them misbehaving. So if you have a call and things, you are being deprived of things spiritually, it can lead to this too. So I try to counsel them that you avoid anything. Because by then you will be in regret. Regretting why didn't I answer my call on time. When you have become involved in an accident that might have paralyzed you or broken your leg. Because they want you to stay in one place. So that when they are talking to you, you will listen to them. So in that one corner you are sitting, you can now really gather your senses and think through. And maybe have flashback to remember the dreams where you are being warned, the dreams where you are being revealed to that you have a call. Or maybe you start recalling that you have gone to so many consultations and yet you did nothing about it. How can you go for consultation without having a mind to solve the problem? Most of you are like that. You go from one DBA to the other, one DBA to the other, testing this person, testing that person to know the person that is uh, maybe higher in, uh, in the, uh, their level of spirituality, higher in power or higher in the uh, divination. I don't know what is wrong with our people. So you that go up and down, going from one DBA to the other for this, uh, divination consultation, what do you have in mind? Like you don't have a problem that you want to solve or you don't have issues you want to sort out and do something about it. I am advising you today that anytime you go for any spiritual consultation and you see that what you are told is related to your life, please ask for solution. Because a good diviner will always tell you the solution. This is how to go about this. This is how to settle this spiritual guide. Sorry, this is how to appease this spiritual guide. We don't settle. We appease them and we align with them. It is a continuous process. It is not something that you did today and leave it to uh, for the, the, the next four years. Some it might be monthly or every three months, six months, depending on your relationship with them. 
So I'm saying this today as an advice. So spiritual stealing is anything you put your hands into, it will not work. Whereas people have been doing it and it works for them. Once you go into it, everywhere will become closed. No sign of progress anymore. You will start looking around, thinking that somebody is after you. Tomorrow you start afresh with another business. It becomes grounded. You go borrowing again. Thinking that if you borrow that you can make profit and return the capital money that you borrow for it. Still nothing. Everything will fizzle out. No money. Nothing. You can't even repay the loan. So you start becoming afraid of yourself. You start having health issues. That is also spiritual healing. Uh, spiritual stealing. When it develops and metamorphoses into something bigger. Please don't waste time to start looking for solution. Be spiritually inclined. Be spiritually conscious. It can happen to families. You see in that family, nothing works. Probably they have offended or they have stopped feeding their ancestral spirits. More na chekwafa na that lineage. Because most of our forefathers, they entered into covenant with some of these spirits. Like Ogugu, Akwali Omumu. I have uh, thought about Akwali Omumu in one of my previous uh, programs here on Radio ADN. So for a fact, you will know that if you start suffering some things that looks abnormal, please check, go and consult to know the spirit the family is owing, to know the covenant, know everything, so that you don't become an island, so that you don't just die for nothing without making any move. Forget about religion, forget about church, forget about pastor. Forget about whoever it is. Go and look for solution. This is why our people wallow in ignorance. I've always said it, that Igbo is a spiritual tribe. Very spiritual. That is why I don't understand why people will stay abroad for years. Live there and die. Then they will be buried in this cemetery abroad. But they will come back home to their family here in Iboland and they will start troubling them in the spirit. That why did they leave them over there? That they want to be brought back home. They want to be buried home in their soil, in their land, their ancestral land. Let me not digress. I'm still explaining about uh, spiritual stealing. So, some who don't understand this, why they have these losses of money, they will tell you that eh, me and money, we are not friends. So, <laughs> you see? Because they have not cared to look for solution to whatever it is that is doing them. Eh? They don't care to find out. They become confused. Even doing any good business, they, don't, they won't want to venture into it anymore. They become afraid of themselves. Like I said, there are spiritual guides involved. Spiritual guides like your reincarnator, Agu, the goddess of goodness, fertility, and wealth that we know as Oda Omomo or Akwali Omomo. Your water family, your marine family. Hmm? Spiritual trees, like, uh, for example, Ngu. If you don't recognize this uh, spiritual guide, this spirit, Mwondia, in Marofa, there is problem. There will be problem. Equal in I have written some articles talking about spiritual guides. I have thought about it. Please, you can go to my YouTube channel, Dibyan Wangu Uchendo. Or to my Facebook page, Dibyan Wangu Uchendo. 
So this spiritual guide can deal with you if you ignore them, if you neglect them, especially for those that have called to serve in their life. Ibronya poloku. Itonde mada abu. Iku bioku ni si mada fengolo mwefa. Inyo ogu. Hmm? Ina mwa. Iwa afa. Ira mili. Ichu aja. Because there are categories of dibias. There are dibias have categories and their area of specialization. So if you are called to serve and you are being disobedient, these spiritual guides, they will deal with you that you'll be wondering if something else is responsible for your problem. You will continue to experience spiritual stealing when you are not aligned with your spiritual guides. When you are not, uh, when you have not answered your call, they will take things that gives you pleasure away from you. They will make sure they uh, rearrange your life to the extent that you'll be wondering what is happening. You'll even be afraid of your shadow. <laughs> your reincarnator, that is onion or because you have not fallen in line with uh, your life path, your destiny. Yes, Onye Norogi Owai will start dealing with you to call your attention that you have call to serve. If it is Agu, she will be disturbing you because like I always say, Agu is a creative and re revelational force. Eh? So if you have not instituted and installed your agu, there will be problem. Agu will scatter things for you. An unappeased agu is calamitous. It will bring calamity into your life. It comes with a lot of things that if I start listing them out, you'll be like, hey, what? But why will they be dealing with me this way? Why can't they just tell me that I have call? That people will be stigmatizing you. Yes, they stigmatize you because you are a native doctor. Or let me use this word, indigenous doctor. They will even tell you that you do offer free of charge for them. Or that you charge them 10 naira for spiritual divination. The way people look down on DBS, <laughs> I, most times I shudder. I wonder what is wrong with our generation. Not only our generation, even our own parents' generation. The way they denigrate, the way they ostracize their children when they choose to answer their call. It baffles me, it surprises me. How come they are now the promoters of uh, uh, imported religion? They won't even do anything to help their children. Some disown their children. Immediately, their children see that the only way to survive is to answer their call, take up their mantle, and become who they were supposed to be. You see parents disowning them. You see them stigmatizing them. You see them pushing them away. It is only an understanding African parent or Igbo parent who knows the Antonala and Answana, who knows their culture and tradition that will stand up and support whoever in his family that has this ancestral call. So, what am I saying in essence? If you are called to serve, and you don't honor that call immediately. You have problem. You'll be experiencing this spiritual stealing. Agun will deal with you. Akwali Omomo will deal with you. They are those ones stealing the money from you, stealing your comfort, stealing your 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 wealth, your position, your job. They will be dealing with you spiritually and you'll be receiving the result physically. 
chine ke kwe ni hojo. Opupu oku megi ihe na ndugia. Eh? Iga na si he. Opupu ana mma. Hey, why are they so wicked? You would think they are wicked. But they are trying to make you align with your destiny. Of course, there is no fulfillment for you. Check it. When you think you are so comfortable, you are not really happy. Deep inside you, there is this um, sense of unfulfilled dream. You know? You still feel empty. There will be no peace. You can compare and contrast when you answered your call versus when you have not answered your spiritual call. You will note the difference. Even in appearance, physically, you will see the difference once you answer your call. You will see how peaceful, how calm, how beautiful, how you will radiate, how your aura will... Oh, goodness. You will see the visible difference. Unlike when you have not answered your call. You will see how you look haggard, unkept, as if you're, you're, you are running away from your shadow. So your water family, they are also involved. They will so deal with you that you have to run around to look for solution. They will steal your joy. They will scatter that marriage, scatter that your relationship that gives you joy. Because when you are in your comfort zone, you normally on a very good day, you won't accept your call. You won't accept to serve as a Dibia. I'm telling you for a fact. For I myself, if I have not experienced this spiritual stealing, I wonder where I will be today. I won't be here telling you about my experience, teaching you about spiritual stealing for you to know. So before... When I haven't honored this call, I was experiencing all this. Money, loss of money, loss of job, no happiness, no peace, nightmares, sickness. Huh? What did I not undergo? Is it broken relationship? Broken marriage? Except if your parents are still on this ancient path and they know who you are and what you'll be in future because most times our parents in the olden days they consult once they, they give birth to their children. They go and check their life path, their destiny. Then a good diviner, a good seer will tell them, see you. And they will walk towards it. As you are growing up, they will be channeling you to that spiritual path. To that path that you become uh, so uh, good in answering your spiritual call. They will even put you under a tutelage of a good Dibia. And when you start asking questions, they will tell you, Mom, a water Mom, Of course, then you will know now your spiritual guides, they will be coming to you. They will be appearing to you. They will sensitize you about the journey ahead. So it's good one knows on time. If you have parents who are spiritually conscious, who are spiritually inclined, you will know all this. Also, your spiritual tree is trees like Ngu. Because this tree, the spiritual tree Ngu itself, I do see it in my dream those days. In my dream, I will be walking round, round in a solitary place just to come and stand before this mighty tree. And I will be having conversation with the tree. I don't know how it happens, whether it's metaphysical or what, but I'm in the dream. I will keep asking, it, why are you calling me now? Why do you always call my name? And it will tell me, why are you being stubborn? It will respond, why are you being stubborn? Come here. Come here. Stand before me. Don't go anywhere. Wait. I have a message for you. I'll be like, can a tree talk? That I'm sure this is not a, a real trio. That maybe somebody is inside it and talking to me. I <laughs> follow me, fair. I follow me, fair. Hey, Chineke. 
So a number of times I have seen myself stand before this tree and I will marvel. Not knowing that there is a spiritual connection. If you know about Ngu tree, Osisi Ngu, you will know. So these spirits, uh, spiritual guides, they are in charge of what is happening. As per that spiritual stealing. They will also make you not to remember your dreams anymore. After sleeping and you dreamt and when you wake up, you will remember this dream. Because you are not in good terms with them. You have not appeased them. You have not aligned with them. Because spiritual st stealing will cause setback for you as an individual. Even you that have a great future in their business, in their marriage, you become frustrated. In your academics, you become frustrated. There are some that their spiritual calling will not even allow them to see the four walls of a school. Talk more of a university or a, a, a secondary. I'm telling you for a fact. So the journey differs. The experience, it differs. The manifestation differ. They are not uh, uniform. What I experience is not what the other person will experience. I'm just shedding clarity for you to understand. My journey and your own journey can never be the same. So, spiritual stealing will make you to fall into debt, make you to become frustrated, make that marriage to break, make you to have a serial break, break up in relationships. Men won't see you as anything. You'll be like rubbish. It causes lateness in marriage. It causes frustration, barrenness in families where they are not in good terms with their spiritual guides, from like especially those from spiritual ancestral background, and also those who have destroyed their ancestral abode, Obundichi, the Hall of Fame, for their honored and respected elders. If you have demolished all this, demolished Akwali Amumu, that family will be experiencing spiritual stealing. If you have destroyed those natural spirits that have always, as far back as so many generations ago, and you are from a spiritual uh, uh, ancestral lineage, those spirits will come and steal from you. They will come and be stealing your joy, stealing your blessings, stealing your happiness, your money. Until you do your due diligence, you seek for them and you appease them and align with them. Because our forefathers have covenanted with them to help uh, keep their family, to help protect their family. Because Odinani is all about veneration of nature. Using the uh, natural element for humanity and mankind. You talk about water, earth, wind, the sun, or fire. To work for mankind. Odinani is tradition. So when these spirits are neglected in families that are from a spiritual ancestral lineage, they will experience all this spiritual stealing, failure at the edge of breakthrough, retrogression. You would think you have achieved something. <clears throat> but you have not. You keep having setback, series of setback. Businesses will crumble. People, you will do good for them. They will tell you and you are, you, are, you are no good to them. You do good for them. They will reward you with evil. Second problem, a problem that keeps repeating itself. It keeps repeating, it keeps repeating. Until you find out, you start investigating spiritually to solve that problem. That is when you know peace. So don't kill yourself if you are experiencing this. This happens a lot to people with Obukuoku. And you are still looking around for somebody who is responsible. Because the, your spiritual guy will so frustrate you that you will abandon your business and you now you accept your call. You have to make peace with those spirits and give them time. You can do that. Or for those that have uh, agu, you are not yet ready to answer your call. You can do a kwema agu. And move on to your business till the time frame you, uh, you converted with them has uh, 
elapse, you will now come and start your Dibia work. You start your Dibia. I'm just giving this as, as an advice. Because that same business can send you to your grave if you disregard them. If you don't do something about your spiritual core. And when that time expires, if you say, uh, if you tell them, please, they should give you four years or five years so that you get ready and come and answer your call as Dibia. Make sure that when that four or five years is over, that you come and start your work as Dibia. You come and answer your work. Makafa kopogala. Makafa when I get more, or you 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 be recalled back. So be very careful in promising them anything. Mbui ne me kwere magu mo bi bu aba. Whatever you promise them, make sure you keep it. It is between you and them. Mo kapa iwe amali fe. That is when whenever I remember this song, mo mi fe. I laugh. So you have to be careful. Once you make that promise. Keep to your promise. Even keep it. Remember the promises you made to your spiritual spouse. They are, he's also part of your marine family. Your spiritual spouse can be the husband or wife. They are also part of this spiritual stealing. So you keep to those promises. And I will advise you that if you are experiencing this spiritual stealing, you are having this problem, please visit Afa. Je Afa. Afa offer from Afa Milemi. Clear your path of any spiritual uh, offense you have committed, like abortion, incest, murder, stealing, you know, sleeping with people's wives. You have to do deep cleansing. Make peace. With your DJ, with our quality of mom. Make peace with your chi. Make peace with Agu. Make peace with our quality of mom. Make peace with Ndimili. Visit them. That is the essence of Ibe Iloma. Ndimili, Ibe Iloma DJ. Ibe Iloma Ji. So that you can balance well. So that you can answer your call. You make peace with every spirit involved with your spiritual call. And promise them that you will start, you will answer that call. So don't waste time. Once the time you give them elapsed, please respect yourself. Oh. Respect yourself. If you give them five years and that five years is over, just come back and start your call. Answer your call as a Dibia. Jekwa zoku wa apologe. Makafe megi fike. Makinzanya boku. Vitaro na ade sharamma. Maybe you have accident. Or probably, if you forget, if you have selective amnesia and forget, your own case in a bye-bye. If you do not take more, then they will transfer that gift to maybe open a motago a transfer it to one motago. So anytime you finish making peace with all the spirits, make sure that <laughs> make sure that you honor them. Make sure that you do what you honor them so that you get back to your feet in no distant time. Remember that you will also offer sacrifices to them and you wait for the result. This uh, sacrifice is a sort of a appeasement. It is very, very necessary. It energizes them. And it makes them to bless you. If you experience spiritual stealing, please don't waste time. Go and check out what the problem is and take the solution proffered to you. Um, this brings us uh, <laughs> to the end of today's uh, program. I would like to thank you for listening to me. Uh, visit my Facebook page, Dibian Wangu Chendu, for more on ordinary Igbo spirituality you can also visit my youtube channel dibian wangu chendu adn radio every fridays and saturdays 7 p.m and repeat at uh, 11 p.m see you same time same station next week is bye from dibian wangu chendu